60% of whatever you put on your skin, body takes in. And if you know that number, you want to put something very natural, especially around the face area, right? Because it's so close to the taste bud. Hi, it's Mika from the Face Yoga Method. So today I want to talk about the natural skincare because I'm so into this. Right? And today my daughter and I made the bath bomb at home. Hey, look at this. I have to wait for 24 hours to 48 hours, be able to wrap it and make a perfect gift for her teachers. But right now, look at this, this is mine. And this is what my daughter made. You can see that, right? <laughs> and then these small ones and oh, smells so good. This has a cornstarch salt and citric acid and the baking soda and uh, oil and essential oils and a little bit of natural coloring. Look at that. Oh, you want to make that? I'm going to probably put the recipe. If you're interested, let me know. So with that, let's start about the skincare. And many people ask me about the skincare, what I like to do and what I like to put on my skin. And today I want to demonstrate a little bit. I just washed my face and today it's so hot outside over hundred degrees in California, Sacramento, that's where I live. So I didn't really go outside except for in the morning when I took my dog out. So I did not even put the sunscreen and I'm giving my skin a little bit rest, nothing but a little bit of moisturizer and that's it. And it's nice sometimes not to put anything because your skin need to breathe. And another thing is you want to put the natural thing so that skin does not get exposed to harmful chemicals. And think about it. Many of you probably are very careful of what to eat, but how about to put on the skin? If you're eating clean food, which I pretty much, you know, eat healthy food, but if I put something, especially around my face, artificial thing or a very strong flavor or strong smell or strong aroma of the product, I can even taste it. I can taste the product in my mouth. I'm very sensitive. So 60% of whatever you put on your skin, body takes in. And if you know that number, you want to put something very natural, especially around the face area, right? Because it's so close to the taste bud. And I'm going to show you a couple things today. Start with the uh, egg white. Okay. So egg white, when I say egg white, many people think like, wow, what is egg white for? Egg white is great to reduce fine lines and then make your face super smooth. And you don't need to keep, or you don't need to use entire egg white to do this, but you can just use whatever you, crack the egg, right? Left inside of the egg shell, just put it on your entire face. Yeah, the fine lines around the eyes. And the good thing about this is it's so safe. And even when you get in your eye, it's okay. You don't need to worry about it. Put my face. Yeah. See? Another thing is if you can peel the egg membrane from the eggshell. Okay, I already took this. But look at this. It just came from the eggshell. Look at that. Oh, I did a good job. Yeah. Oops. Uh oh, I just here. Okay. Activated my bath bomb. See that? I dropped the water and activated my bath bomb. Can you see it? My daughter is going to be not happy to see this. <laughs> but let's put this egg membrane on the area you have concern. Sunspot, brown spot, great. And if you get a really nice big egg membrane, you can even put on your nose, okay, the wet part. And then when it get dry, just peel it. And you'll be surprised that your skin is gonna be so clean. And then do the 100 times fresh face washing. When you do that, you feel that the fine lines will smooth out. Try this. I do it probably a mm, couple times a week when I use egg for my family in the morning before I take a shower, because I don't take a shower in the morning, but before I wash my face, sorry. <laughs> and then I wash my face doing 100 times fresh face washing. There's a couple things you need to know. You don't want to move your face muscle when you have a quiet. Why? Because you want to get the most benefit, 
out of it, right? So you want to kind of have a stern looking face when you have an egg white and when you rinse it off doing a hundred times fast face washing, never use hot water. Why? Because when you use hot water, you actually cook egg white in your pores. You don't want to do that. So this one is great. And then another thing is when you have this egg membrane on the skin, you don't want to leave it too long. When you leave these too long, they start getting dry and then really tighten the skin. So you don't want to do that. You want to kind of peel right when it's ready. How do you know? You feel it. So try that. Okay. So after this, you can even try another thing, which is yogurt face mask. It's my favorite. If you haven't tried it, this works great. Sometimes I get a craving for doing that yogurt face mask when I go traveling. And I just go to the store, grocery store, and I buy yogurt and then put it on my face. When you want to do that yogurt face mask, you wanna use Greek yogurt at best because the texture, see, it's not, it's not too soft. And you wanna use plain yogurt, no sugar, nothing. That's the best. And if you cannot find Greek yogurt, don't worry. You want to strain the excess liquid and make it a little harder and like this and put it on your face. Let me show you this. Okay. So entire face, what it does is it does very natural, very nice, soft peeling. And your skin is going to feel so soft and it brighten your complexion. So what's the difference between an egg white mask and a yogurt face mask? Yogurt face mask does natural peel, right? And then um, egg white helps reducing fine lines. And egg membrane helps reducing brown spot, age spot, sun spot. Let's try that. I read somewhere that some, um, I think it was in New Zealand, Hospital uses the egg membrane on the burn scar. You know, when you get a burn, just put this and it's called, I think, like a natural skin, a second skin, and I keep it. So why not put on your face when your skin needs some little love? Okay, see it like that? Yeah. And I leave it on about 20 minutes or so and I wash it off. And if you're a vegetarian, vegan, don't worry, there is something you can use. Instead of Egg, you can use flaxseed powder, a ground flaxseed. Add some water and put on your face. And if you don't want to use yogurt, you can use soy yogurt, you can use coconut yogurt. Okay? And if you have a little bit of dry skin, you can add honey to your yogurt. Okay? Honey makes your skin soft. So let's put some honey. Okay. Yep, I got some. A little bit of honey, my face. And good thing about this food on your face is so economical and safe because, oh, it's so close to my eye. It's still safe. And you can even eat it, right? Yeah, yum. Okay. So, many people ask me, how about the uh, dark side, no, dark skin? You can add matcha powder, brighten your skin complexion, okay? To yogurt. Or if you have acne, spirulina. I bought this in Hawaii when I went to Hawaii because it's a superfood in Hawaii, from Hawaii. But to be honest, it doesn't taste good. I try the smoothies and all that, but uh, my daughter, like, oh, she hates it. And it has been in a fridge for a while and I don't just throw it away. So I'm like, huh, why not put it on my face using yogurt? Here, that's what it is. It works great if you have acne issue. I got a little pimple here, so I'm gonna put right here. Yeah. Oh, I love the feel of yogurt too. It's so nice and cold. And same thing, rinse it off, I'm doing a hundred times fresh face washing. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I love it. And if you have White head, there's something you can do too. Are you ready? You have a white head. Yeah, usually on the nose, a chin, or forehead, right? 
you can put activated charcoal. Yep, this is what I use, activated charcoal powder. You can buy online. I think I spend less than $10. The big bag of activated charcoal. You can even eat the activated charcoal. And some toothpaste even contain activated charcoal. So why not put this yogurt activated charcoal on your nose, the area you have concern, white head, black head, and let it dry. So activated charcoal pull impurities you know oil makeup and dark from your pores and you probably want to keep this a little bit longer than other part or you can just you know do separate days like another day just activate a charcoal on your nose and when it's dry you can just rinse it off doing 100 times fresh face washing and it works great i used to use a nose strip you know the one i'm talking about it's not good for your skin you're actually stripping your skin, which you don't want to do that. It's too harsh on your skin. So I, I haven't done it almost 20 years and this works better than that. So many people wrote to me saying that they can't get rid of their frown, you know, frown lines here and a vertical lines and all that. And how about this? Why don't you put a cucumber, slice cucumber between your eyebrows when you're at home? Why? Because cucumber stays there when you have a smooth skin and when you start frowning, see, it started coming out. I started doing this at the restaurant one day because it was so much fun. And I thought about this, like, wow, it's like a natural frowny, which is to stopping your frown and keep it as long as you can. Cucumber itself has a really good health benefit and also good for your skin. So why not put it right here too? And when you wait for 10 minutes or so, and when you take this off, you have a very smooth forehead. Can you see it? Yeah, try it. And maybe you wanna even drive a car with a cucumber on your forehead and see how long you can keep. Let's do the try. Let's do some challenge, put a cucumber. You wanna slice it, the thinner is better because it's more easy to keep the cucumber on your forehead and see how long you can keep it without frowning. And after 20 minutes or so, you wanna rinse off. You don't wanna keep it too long. And if you have any allergic reaction to any of the ingredients, of course you don't wanna do it. But if not, try and see the differences. Because even though I know many of us are busy, right? Taking care of yourself, but taking care of others, it's so important to take care of ourselves because if we are not Feel. If you're not feeling happy, if you're not really satisfied, how much love we can give to other people. We need to really take care of ourselves. Think about the airplane. When you're in emergency situation, what do you have to do? You have to put a mask first so that you can help other people. You can't help every single person if you're not happy, if you're not satisfied. So small things like this, I try to do whenever I get a little bit of time. Putting the egg white, it doesn't take long. It takes probably five seconds and rinse off because I just wash my face anyway in the morning after I feed my family. Why not do that, right? And a yogurt, it doesn't take long to put it. And same thing, just rinse it off. And that can help me to feel good. My skin feels good. And when my skin feels good, I get confident. And when I feel confident, when I go outside, I show, I carry the confidence and people treat me. When I'm feeling happy and satisfied, people treat me accordingly. So that's a whole thing. It's not, self-care is not selfish. Self-care is something you can do to make yourself feel happy, but also make other people happy too. There's so many remedies, so many homemade remedies and also recipes in my website, faceyogamethod.com and a blog and look it up. And there's so many ways you can do, and I haven't posted this yet, but you can make with your kids. You can have fun on weekends. And why don't do something so that you and your kids can have fun together. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you next week. Bye.